My name is Natalie Balfour and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Research School of Earth Sciences at ANU. And part of my job is to coordinate the Australian Seismometers in Schools Network. And this is a network of 40 seismometers we're putting in schools around Australia. And it is um, aimed to raise awareness of earthquakes and to um, promote careers in geoscience and also assist in teaching earth science and physics and maths in high schools. So the seismometers in the schools are um, connected via the internet, so that any data that is recording at the school gets displayed on their um, computer, but also is sent to ANU, uh, where we have a data repository. And we collect the data from all the stations that are, that are out and bundled together, and that gets sent off in near real time to um, IRIS, which is a data management centre and in the United States. And from there it's publicly available to anyone who's interested in, in looking at the data, including researchers. The data can also be used um, not just by schools and sort of academic research, but also for government agencies who may be monitoring earthquakes, or state agencies monitoring earthquakes, and um, industry if they're interested in the seismicity that's going on in, in their area. And, um, and local enthusiasts, it's plenty of those in Australia. So a seismometer measures ground motion. So anything that causes kind of the ground to move, including um, cars going by in a busy street or wind, um, sometimes can cause the ground to move, um, and explosions, and, and obviously earthquakes as well. Well, the kids are really excited about the program. They're quite fascinated by the sensitivity of the instruments, so how they can pick up earthquakes that occur on the other side of the world, say in, in Chile or in Japan. And uh, they sort of rush in to see what the latest um, recordings are when there's been an earthquake in the news. So they're really engaged in having something. And they also feel quite proud of recording data that's of research quality that they can that the scientific community can actually use. So we really want to get all schools that express an interest involved in the program and engaged. So the idea is that if schools miss out on a primary seismometer, the sort of research quality seismometers, they'll still be able to um, detect earthquakes using a slinky seismometer, which is um, will pick up earthquakes, large distant earthquakes, as well as local earthquakes, and also a, a quake catcher, which is a USB accelerometer, which doesn't pick up very distant earthquakes, but it can be a great classroom demonstration tool. Uh, so I'm Jeff McNamara, a science teacher here at Melrose High School. I coordinate the ACE science program for our higher achieving students. The seismometer is installed underneath the ACE lab which is a small lab that's been set aside specifically for students to do medium to long term projects here at the school. We dug a hole, or I dug a hole, about 400 millimetres deep, 400 millimetres uh, square, and we filled it with concrete and put the seismometer on top of that, and then have a truck door installed over the top of that. And that gives us a live feed to a, seismo a seismogram here inside the classroom so the students can see the seismic activity. At first, the students were a little bit perplexed by it, but they very, very quickly realised what it was there for. They are seeing events that are occurring all over the world, seismic events all over the world, and it's given them a real connection. It seems a little bit odd that at first they were seeing signals that might have taken 20 minutes to get here from another place in the world, say Japan or South America, and with a generation that's growing up with uh, instant internet access to these countries, it seems strange to see that they are actually more intrigued by this notion that it does take that amount of time for a vibration to get from one country to another when they realise it's actually coming through the earth. And that's given them a much more, <clears throat> a much more authentic impression of what seismology is all about and the real distances between countries that they're witnessing these events from. So it's given them uh, a much more tangible experience with earth sciences. 
Natalie's come in as a science mentor, it's part of a science here for our year 8 through to 10 students. Natalie comes in from time to time to speak to the students, to give them expert instruction in seismology. We've also got mentors coming in in the fields of physics, entomology and radiophysics. We're starting that one up shortly as well. So this is part of a much broader program which is designed to connect students in high schools with practicing scientists and engineers. The fact is though that it's affected not just the ACE students, it's affected students in all different areas of the school at all different levels. In fact I had a student come to me just earlier this week and said, gee Mr Mack we're getting so many earthquakes these days aren't we? And I had to point out to him that the events have been occurring all the time, it's just that until we have the seismometer we haven't been aware of them. And that's opened the students' eyes, I think, to the idea that the Earth is not fixed, it is not stationary, it is dynamic, it's moving, it's vibrating all the time. But we have had the good fortune to have two recent earthquakes here in Canberra, as well as the more recent one down in Victoria, which the students have also seen. So it's opened up their minds to the genuine nature of the structure of the Earth. Uh, for students who aren't involved in ACE, but of course with the ACE students, they're getting such brilliant mentoring by people like Natalie, who uh, are able to speak so authoritatively on their subject, and so the students are picking up skills, not only to do a seismology, but also how to practice science, how to interpret data, how to draw conclusions, and they'll carry those skills on to whatever branch of science they end up in. Yeah, okay, so mm -hmm. you can see Hello, my name's Oliver Cross, I'm in Year 9 at Melrose High School and we've recently acquired a seismometer through the Australian Seismometers and Schools Network. Um, our partner has been Natalie Balfour through the ANU and we've been looking at the spectrograms whenever we come in to class every day. It's really cool seeing what's happening right beneath our feet. Um, everyone at the school is really excited about the seismometer because it um, helps us show lots of earthquakes when they happen. And so recently we've said that, oh, there's lots more earthquakes than usual, but because we've been able to record and see all the earthquakes that are happening, we can see all the earthquakes that are happening Less, right beneath our feet. It's still sort of the same distance away and, and things, so it's, and it's going through the same material. Um, we've learnt quite a lot through the seismometer. We've learnt about the different types of waves that travel through the earth. And um, using the data, we have been able to figure out the location of some of the earthquakes in conjunction with other seismometers. The most exciting thing we've seen on the seismometer so far has been the Canberra earthquake in 2012 in April. And that was pretty cool because we came back to school and we saw this massive trace on the readout and that happened right next to us and that was pretty cool.